pro Donald Trump attorney arrested. And Donald Trump personally cannot pay his own bond and says he's going to have to have a fire sale. This is so beautiful and ironic at the same time. All right, let's put her up full mass. Well, here we go. Another pro Trump lawyer bites the dust per CNN, Stephanie Lambert, a pro Trump lawyer who tried to overturn the 2020 election, was arrested on Monday after court hearing about her recent leak of internal emails belonging to Dominion voting systems. They are back in the news again. CNA reports that there was an existing arrest warrant for attorney Lambert stemming from her failure to appear. How does an attorney get an FTA? But she has one. At a recent court hearing where there's a separate criminal case in Michigan, she was charged there with conspiring to seize voting machines after the 2020 election. So she has a few things going on, all courtesy of her efforts to serve the dictator Donald Trump. Lambert and a cadre of election deniers have disrupted one of Dominion's many ongoing defamation lawsuits by publicly leaking thousands of the company's internal emails in recent days using the disclosures to resurrect false claims about voter fraud. Who is getting the information? Put them up. That is not Colonel Sanders nephew. That is an actual elected sheriff. CNA reports the controversy erupted when attorney Lambert provided the confidential Dominion documents to Barry County Sheriff Darleaf. That's his name. His name is Darleaf, D-A-R first name, Leaf last name. Who has embraced conspiracy theories about the 2020 election and has used his own office to investigate supposed voter fraud against Donald Trump. In the last 24 hours, Leaf has posted more than 2,000 internal Dominion documents on his social media account. That man is the sheriff. CNN notes, Lambert had access to the Dominion files because she represents a former Overstock CEO, Patrick Byrne, who is being sued for defamation by the voting company over his 2020 election lies as well. So this gives her access to the material. As part of the case, they have access to discovery, routine. They have discovery from Dominion. Instead of utilizing this discovery for a judicial remedy, as you're supposed to, they utilize it for something else. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. All right, so whose lawyer said that they have already turned over more than a million documents, hell of a thing. Well, this is gonna be interesting. All right, Lambert attended a hearing on Monday in Burns defamation case in DC, but was never seen leaving the courtroom. And questions swirled around and other attorneys started to question whether she had been taken into custody. What's happening? She walked in but did not walk out. The other attorneys left the courtroom and two federal marshals then went inside and locked the doors. <laughs> yeah, they locked the doors. Lambert was, well, let's just say never seen exiting. The marshals declined to say whether they arrested her as she did not answer messages seeking comment after the hearing. The US Marshals Service confirmed in a statement late Monday that Lambert was in fact arrested. Quote, the US Marshals Service can confirm the arrest of Stephanie Lambert earlier this afternoon. Lambert is currently being held on local charges, the statement said. 
referring to her Michigan based criminal case where she had an active warrant for failing to appear in court. FTA, there's more. The Dominion leaks have at least for now diverted attention away from the alleged 2020 election related defamation. So in a way, they are getting what they are attempting to get, which is a distraction. More hearings will be needed to deal with the matter and for the judge to consider consider potential consequences for the attorney Lambert. Dominion's lawyers also said in the filings that company employees have already are already receiving new death threats in the wake of the disclosures. Once again, that was their aim. The messages posted online by the sheriff contain names, email addresses, cell phone numbers, and office addresses of actual Dominion employees. Once again, their exacting aim. During the at times testy hearing on Monday, magistrate Judge Opedi Aya peppered Lambert with sharp questions about the disputed Dominion materials. The judge ordered that attorney Lambert be restricted from accessing the database containing the Dominion documents. Quote, I will deal with the why later. But for now, I need to preserve the status quo. The judge said, adding, quote, we need to prevent any future dissemination. What is the judge attempting to do? The judge is attempting to save people's lives because all of their personal information has been intentionally shared outside of judicial restriction. And so naturally, you move in a way to protect the public at large. It is a public policy ruling. I agree with the judge in this ruling. The judge said there would be a future hearing to determine whether attorney Lambert violated a court order by leaking the Dominion files and that Byrne would need to appear and answer questions. Dominion wants attorney Lambert completely removed from the case and suggested in court Monday that she might have committed a crime by disseminating the files to Sheriff Leaf. Attorney Lambert. Leaf and Byrne have claimed in court filings a public statement that the documents they disclosed contained evidence that Serbian nationals, what, wait a minute, how did the Serbs get involved? But all of a sudden they have a new theory. Serbian nationals meddled in the 2020 election at Dominion's request, okay? As has been public for years, this is a quote. From Dominion. Dominion has a small staff presence in Serbia. But any allegation that Dominion employees anywhere try to interfere with any election is flatly false, a Dominion spokesperson told CNN after the hearing. So, what are they attempting to do? They are attempting to benefit from the extreme racism. Of Trumpites. Serbians? Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't like them either. So if we can make a Serbian connection and Dominion had Serbian employees, well, naturally, they're the ones who meddled in the 2020 election. Election fraud. Um, motive, number one, is lacking. Number two, well, the handful of employees that they are trying to out. Are well known employees made public through the Fox Dominion case. Nothing new there. But for those who don't pay attention and literally will listen to what any to what Donald Trump says at any time, this becomes a credible, well, proclamation. Donald Trump, however, he's losing it. You know all the trouble he got himself into? Well, now he doesn't have the money to get himself out of it. Here it is. Lawyers for Mr. Trump today told a New York appellate court that he can't find a company to help him with a nearly half billion dollar bond while he appeals the New York civil fraud case involving his business. According to the filing, more than two dozen companies, including Chubb, have decided on that bond. They cannot do it and they will not do it. 
That leaves Trump in a very vulnerable position for somebody who, who brags about his personal wealth as much as he does, who's key to his, uh, his, his political appeal is that he can't be bought because he has so much money than everybody else. In this case, what he has more than anybody else is a need for money quickly and desperately. New York Attorney General Tish James has said that she is ready and willing to start seizing Trump's properties in order to satisfy the judgment. The clock is ticking. The former president may have to put up more than the half billion dollar bond that's giving him trouble already. As the New York Times puts it today, quote, Trump might have to post an appeal bond worth more, possibly above a half billion dollars to reflect the interest he'll owe in order to prevent Ms. James from seizing his assets on March 25th. And I mean, March 25th this year, as in one week from tonight. He ain't got it. He ain't got it. Bottom line is Trump don't have the money, okay? He can brag about how many billions he's had. The man does not have it. And he doesn't pay his bills. So guess what? Nobody's going to lend it to him. The attorney general is about to get that ass. I mean, them assets. All right, Sharon, hell of a thing here. The man literally <laughs> is tweeting nonstop how this is wrong and how much money they're asking. He did this to himself, mm -hmm. point by point, moment by moment. Yeah, after being gifted due to his privilege, lies and fraud, um, credit that he didn't deserve. Okay, right. That's, That's right. what it was all about. As that was announced, Doc, by Rachel Maddow and others, millions of Americans, including myself, screamed Trump. But he's just like us. He's not <laughs> liquid, okay? He's just like us, yeah. most of us. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, you know, it's amazing to me how somebody can be proclaimed as so genius in business, but make very bad business decisions all the time.